uh, in a lot of different, like when, when I was talking about rim lighting, I'll give you an example of it here. I'm not going to choose such a bright white, but um, there is light coming from the upper left, but light goes all around. And to kind of give something a little bit more detail to make it pop, you can take a brighter color. See, I have a shade right here on the lip. Take a little brighter color and trace right above it. do that on the bottom of the, the chin too. See? And it gives it kind of an extra little, it pops it out. Now, um, I was kind of clumsy about doing it and, it and it doesn't look very good. It's, let me zoom in, it's just not smooth, it's not a continuous line. So to smooth that out, you can actually use the smudge tool. If you go to your palette over here, it's right on this little icon here and if you hold your your mouse on it you'll get the smudge tool if you press R that's the uh, keyboard shortcut for it but it might not always be the smudge tool it could be the sharpen tool or the blur tool so get the smudge tool looks like a hand and um, the strength is something you'll have to play with usually I keep it on 30 percent any higher um, and it just kind of it, it works too well so at 30 30 is smooth enough to just if you just drag it along just drag it along back and forth. See it smooths out whatever colors you got. So that, that helps. Um, and it's something that you can use later on to do fur effects. Like I have uh, some little highlights right here on the blue. I'm going to go to the blue layer. Um, if you set it high, it's a 60. And let's see what's, what's pretty cool is if you load. Like you have to right click, go to this arrow right here click on it and if you load the natural brushes and say append it'll add to your current brush set you get these little dot brushes they look like that get the one that's 19 or 20 di uh, pixels in diameter and you see it's just a lot of dots when you start painting with it see how it looks see that it looks kind of like fur because all those little pixels, when you drag it around, it tends to look kind of like fur looks. So that's a good way to make your images, your 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 furry characters, as it were, um, look furry. Instead of just using, uh, I used to use just the the smudge tool with a single single one, and it it, it looks okay. You can see, you get closer. You do like that. It just takes a lot longer you have more control over it in a way but it doesn't always look as good as th these look see then you can come back with a, a brighter color maybe get a smaller brush like that put a little bit of highlights into it like this just just a couple then come back with the brush go over it and it blends it right in. And see, that looks way cooler. See? And that's pretty much how you can color your image. You, you could do it with a, any type of material that you're trying to emulate, like I'm doing fur here. You can do it with clothes. Um, you won't be using this kind of brush. You'll be just using the regular round brush. Um, and you can smudge the uh, the clothes when, you, when you're finished to make wrinkles come together. Um, it's, you just have to experiment and see what works. Um, so let me get let me get the brown going here so you can kind of see that. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Now I'm not doing as good as I normally do when I color a picture. I actually spend a lot more time on it. Like upwards of eight hours. Because I like to, I'm very, very particular and kind of perfectionist about the way I do things. Until a certain point. Uh, at, at some points, I just stop. Um, oh yeah, let me show you this. so you can. I, I kind of hinted at it when I did the, the brown or blue right there. 
um, to get those kind of fur dimensions like this once you get your dark kind of shade in there you basically you can keep going with a lighter color see I can actually I come with that brown then I can make a couple of you don't you don't hold it down you make like one stroke and then lift up your mouse or your pin or your pen or you know let go of the mouse button make another make another and just keep doing that and wherever the lights the strongest like in the middle you want it to be prominent there and you want to get smaller and have less strokes as you go away from it something like that then you can come get a brighter color do the same thing get a brighter color do it again and you get smaller as you go the brighter the colors get the smaller your brush gets and once you've got that you can come back with that brush and go over it and look how cool that looks see anybody could do it very cool right yeah just agree with me <laughs> uh, so that's that's the coloring of the fur